number four in the fourth green Kimpo Karate for Christ curriculum is Detour from Doom. Uh, Detour from Doom is going to kind of take that idea of your five swords, your uh, seven fists, that, that same coordination when the hands are on one side and they're moving to the other. Uh, it's not exactly the same. I'm going to show you where there's some changes. But uh, that, that sort of um, idea is very much present in this technique, but our attack is completely different this time. Uh, we are going to be looking at it from a roundhouse kick. Again, this is our uh, fourth technique, so this is our kick, right? Grab, push, punch, and then the kick technique is always number four, or almost always number four, may always be number four. I'm going to start in a fighting stance here to receive that roundhouse kick. And much like swinging pendulum, my first move is going to be to zone back to that 45 degrees. My left foot swinging around to that 430 spot, and I'm using this universal block, again, to receive that roundhouse kick, just like we did in um, Swinging Pendulum. So I start and receive that uh, roundhouse kick. Now, just like in Swinging Pendulum, our response should come, our counterattack should come before they have a chance to put their leg down. So I don't want to give them a chance to retract that foot and kick again, or get his weight on it and deliver a punch, something like that, while the foot's still in the air, and as he's kind of lost his... Uh, because they intended to kick, and we weren't there anymore, right? We moved out of the way, we moved up that circle a little bit, and overextended how far they had to reach on that roundhouse kick. So as they're trying to play it down, then our counterattack comes. And the counterattack's going to come on sliding your left foot up, and a snapping front kick off the front leg, off the right foot. So the left foot slides up, giving me this cat stance for a second, and I'm going to front kick to the stomach. Now as they play it down here, the five swords coordination is kind of the hands coming out. It's always this like outward hand sword or back fist idea. But as we kick them in the stomach, they're bending forward already. Now they're bending forward, I'm going to come in straight with the jab. So it's not a back fist, it's not an outward hand sword, it's a straight shot. It's a jab followed by a cross this time. Boom, boom, straight shot in, rather than hands kind of already orbiting that direction. So, so far we've got universal block to the kick, slide up, I front kick with the right, jab to the chin, cross to the chin. Now, um, we've always had that hit low, that uppercut to the stomach to bend them over. This time we're not going to use an uppercut. So from here, our best angle, as we've set ourselves already a little bit offline, is I'm going to use a hammer and back fist, right hammer and back fist, and that's going to be the shot to the stomach that causes them to bend forward. From there, we can grab the head, pull it down, and again, it's an overhead with a hammer fist, just like five fists, behind the neck, and full cover out from there. So, putting those parts together, we have our, our uh, fighting stance, we go universal block, slide up, front kick, jab, cross, back fist. So I'm going from a, full, uh, from a forward bow, cross punch, back to that neutral bow with this hammering back fist. Then I can slide my leg back a little bit as I come up with this uh, sword hand grabbing behind the head, bending him over, orbit that right arm, hammer fist behind the back of the head, right at the soft spot where the head and the neck meet. And then from there, full cover out. We'll go off to 3 o'clock again. So from uh, the top, they're doing a roundhouse kick, and uh, we're coming off in this detour from do. Defense first, and front kick, jab, cross, back fist, then grab behind the head, hammer fist, full cover out towards 3 o'clock. One more time. Tour from Doom.